Hello, I'm Kevin Treader, Product Marketer with Microchip Technologies Analog Division. In this edition of Amptitudes, we will take a brief look at the evaluation platform developed for the MCP 6N16 instrumentation amplifier. First, let's take a moment to review the device under evaluation. The use of a zero drift architecture within the MCP 6N16 provides for superior DC performance, including low offset, low offset drift, eliminates 1 over F noise, and provides superior common mode and power supply rejection, which are critical specifications for INAs. An integrated charge pump on the input stage enables rail-to-rail -rail input operation down to 1.8 volts using a single PMOS device, eliminating crossover distortion. Additional on-chip filtering on the input pins of the amplifier enhances the rejection of unwanted high-frequency signals. The MCP 6N16 evaluation board provides an easy and flexible platform to evaluate the performance of the amplifier. The fully assembled board includes differential input filtering, two jumper selectable gain settings, output filtering, and several options for adjusting the output common mode level. The sensor connector, highlighted here, provides a six pin screw terminal to allow for a variety of sensors to be connected. And based on the specific sensor, the user can select either a two, three, four, or six wire interface configuration. When in its default configuration, the evaluation board requires only one external power supply, typically a five volt single supply voltage applied to the four pin screw terminal, J2, highlighted here. A separate power supply for the MCP 6N16 can also be used, allowing for evaluation across the full supply range of 1.8 volts to 5.5 volts. As noted earlier, the evaluation board is configured to support two gain settings, either 101 or 301 volts per volts, based on the setting of J9, shown here. Finally, the MCP 6N16 reference voltage can be configured to use the onboard adjustable reference tied to the reference of ground or use an onboard MCP4018 digital potentiometer. However, this option will require an I2C interface to an external controller. These selections are controlled via the jumpers J11 and J13 as shown here. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Amptitudes as we briefly explored the MCP 6N16 evaluation board. For more information regarding the MCP 6N16 INA or the associated evaluation platform, please visit www.microchip.com slash MCP 6N16. If you have a topic you would like reviewed in Amptitudes, please be sure to leave a comment below.